Hi guys, welcome to my my channel. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the binomial distribution and how important it is to us. Now, um, the binomial distribution is a discrete is a discrete distribution, and um, the application cut across different field areas. For example, you now in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply it in the to met yeah in the medical line. I'm going to show you how to apply it in the medical line, and um, I will say that binomial distribution actually help us to calculate to compute the probabilities of events. For example, let's say you're a medical um, scientist and you're working with a complaint and uh, this your complaint this complaint is actually working on a new malaria drug and you have the zero dose of your drug which you administer to your patient you have the one dose you have the two dose up to the five dose and you've given all these doses you've, you've actually given it to the patient and you want to estimate the probability you want to know how effective your malaria drug is how effective are these doses that you've actually given to your patient so you can actually use the binomial distribution but you need to be careful there are conditions in which binomial distribution you can use binomial distribution number one you must have a sample size that is less than or equals to 30. now in this example we have just five we'll be using five just five sample and again your probability of success must be greater than or equals to 0 0.1 so you need two things generally you need your sample size and the probability of success and you also need your probability of failure but if you are working it manually you need probability of um, failure but using excel you don't need probability of failure you don't need to estimate for it so in your company you do you you generally say okay that okay this is your new drug we actually there's a there's, there's a certain percentage like 36 percent success success rate for the new malaria drug you've actually computed the this chance that okay your new malaria drug will actually cure or kill the malaria parasite so let me show you the binomial distribution so this is the binomial distribution this is your distribution here the hand stand for our sample size the x in this example stand for the doses the doses you've already given the dose of the malaria drug your new malaria drug that you've given to the patient why the p stand for the probability of success which is 0 0.36 then your q is probability of failure so you can naturally compute the probability of failure from your probability of success so q equals to 1 minus p so back to the excel let me show you how to compute the probabilities so this zero is just like a control group you're giving the patient you are not giving the patient any dose so you are using binom vest binom distribution so the number s here stand for the doses you have the control group the trial is the five and you have the probability which is the probability that okay well, your new malaria drug will actually be a success which is 0 0.36 then you have two options to, to choose from here you have your true which is your cumulative distribution function and you have the false which is the probability mass function and now we are choosing the probability mass function because the false option will actually return back the value of the probability of those the exact dose that you are looking for so i'm going to explain the true function to you later just follow along
Oh, and the last one, which is five doors, we have binom distribution. We have five comma. The number of trials is also five. You have your probability, which is zero point three six, and uh, you have the false. Okay, very good. So these are the probability of each dose that you've given to the you've administered to your patient. Okay, so now, um, so let me explain the other the true option, the other true option that you saw there. So if you have, for example, now we are trying to calculate um, the probability that okay. You, the, the probability that you are giving your patient you want to know how effective the malaria drug is one dose of that drug or less or you have two doses of that drugs or less you want to know how effective it is if you give your patient two doses one dose or zero dose so that is when you use the true option which is your cumulative distribution function so it you sum over from that dose downward fewer dose to sum it over so you have binom i just want to show you so that you know what i'm talking about so let's say for example i want to sum over two dose i want to know the probability of um if i'm if i give uh, my patient two dose to, from two dose and and downward so you have two the number of trial is five you have your probability 0 0.36 and you have your true option now this is the cumulative distribution function so this is a probability of two one and zero so if you had these three probabilities together you are going to get 0 0.749 so now there is another way um, of um, working with binomial distribution. For example, if you're trying to see the number of um, the rate of success or the probability of you giving um, the patient between two dose and three dose, so this is how you do it. You want to know the probability of giving your patient the probability that okay your new drug, if you give the patient two between two or three dose. The malaria drug we actually the the malaria parasite we actually die so use binom distribution the range so your trial is five your probability is 0 0.36 then the range now we have two comma three can you see two comma three so this is the range of giving your patient two this is the probability of giving your patient two between two and three dose so if we calculate this probability of two dose and three dose you are going to get this answer all right so let's represent our the probabilities let us create a chart for it and make it look good Okay, I think this is good. Okay, so let me rename it before we explain the probabilities and see what will happen to the dose. So as you can see, so this is a very good label, 
you have a plot showing the probabilities of clinical trials of a new KCT malaria drug. So let me just do some little transformation. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Now out of this out of this probability out of this probability if you know for the control group has the probability of zero point one one if you actually convert it to two decimal places you have 0 0.11 if you are given the, the patient one dose this is the probability two dose this is the probability now let's look at the one that actually that is actually the probability that is actually closer to one you know if you have a probability closer to one you actually say that that event or that event is likely to occur it means the dose you're given the patient is likely to cure the malaria parasite so let's look at that dose which of these doses is actually likely to cure the malaria parasite or to kill the malaria parasite so i think this is the, this is the highest the two dose you can see from the graph if you look at the graph you see the two dose so it actually means this clinical trial when you're given the patient, when you give the patient two doses of your new malaria drug, it actually perform is more actually more effective than the other um, doses. Look at the five doses. So it doesn't really mean okay, the higher the number of um, doses, the better or how effective the drug will be or how the malaria will get cured easily. No. So it actually tells you that the two just only two doses. They actually kill the malaria parasite so followed by the one dose can you see followed by the one dose then followed by the three dose and that is it so i hope you've been able to learn something and